Now that we have created the interaction between the screw and the drill, we are going to add an audio source to complete the animation and make it more realistic. We'll also program it to be triggered by the interaction of the drill and the screw. To start, let's look for the sound among the collections accessible by the control panel. Go to the media collection and then select the media called Drill 01. The sound then appears as a transparent sphere that you can drop into the environment. The best here is to place the sound close enough to the object so that when it will be animated, in this case, by the screw, it will trigger the sound. We must now program that event in our scenario in order for it to play in the scene. Access the visual programming tool through the remix panel and then add a reference node to the audio sphere. Now, go back to the nodes constellation and into the node collections. Go to the audio category, then play and select audio. Back in the scenario, you just have to connect the reference node of the audio sphere to the play audio node. First, connect the GUID bound on the reference node and the audio sphere bound of the play node. Then, connect the clip name bound of the reference node to the audio clip bound. If we run a preview now, the sound will play immediately. However, we want this sound to play after the drill and the screw collide. To do this, we need to repeat the same steps as seen in the last tutorial by connecting the collision node to the play audio node. Again, the link created will be a different color since it is a flow connection. That should do the trick. Save your progress, then enter the preview mode. Go get the drill, get closer to the screw, and then put the two objects in contact. The sound should play them. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to animate the drill to complete this interaction.